Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound PbI4. Now, we have two different elements here, right? We have lead, which is Pb, and we have I, which is iodine. Let's map where these are, and that will get us an idea why it's an ionic compound. Lead is a metal, right? Lead is over here on the periodic table. It's somewhere down here. Now, remember, anything, there's, there's going to be a staircase, right? Anything to the right of the staircase minus hydrogen are metals, right? Hydrogen is the only one left of the staircase that's a uh, non-metal. And iodine is a non-metal because it's a halogen. It's in group um, 7A or 17. It's in this group right here. So that's non-metal territory. Now we have a metal and a non-metal, so let's start naming. The metal name always stays exactly the same. So since it was lead, PB is lead on the periodic table, it's going to be lead here. The I for iodine, right, iodine, the non-metal now has to just get the IDE ending. So instead of iodine, I have to drop the NE and add the IDE, right, or the, just the DE, to turn it into iodide. And there's your IDE ending. So we have lead iodide right now, but with ionic compounds, we just got to make sure, you know, do we need a Roman numeral or not? But now this is an exception, guys. Even though lead is not in your transitional metals, it's not in this block, we still need a Roman numeral. So highlight this one, guys. Make a star. This is like a post-transitional metal. Lead can have multiple oxidation states, so that's why it needs a Roman numeral. So even though it's not in that block, you know, and because there's so many exceptions in chemistry, this is one of them, you need a Roman numeral. And the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. And how are we going to find that charge? Well, it's pretty simple. All we're going to do is we're going to take the subscripts of, you know, the elements and crisscross them back up. Those are the charges. So I have one lead and I have four iodines. This one crisscrosses up, telling me that the iodine was a negative one charge, right? Non-metals always want to gain electrons, and Pb is a plus four. So we have that. Now just do a check, okay? The iodine is saying that it's a negative one. And look, the iodine is in negative one oxidation world. That's the trend. So if this checks out, this has to check out. And the charge of the lead was a plus 4. So I have to write a 4 in the Roman numeral, which is IV. And there you go. Now you're done. So lead, well, we'll say PBI4 is lead 4 iodide. And that's it. Hopefully this helped, guys. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And I hope you guys are you know, studying hard. You guys got this. Good luck on your tests and quizzes, and I'll see you in future lessons. Take care. Bye-bye.